Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, we're going to do the Super Bowl coming off of the 1983 season, which was Super Bowl 18, which, as you may recall, the L.A. Raiders beat the Washington Redskins by the score of 38 to 9. So it was a very embarrassing game for the Redskins. And I will be controlling the Redskins in this game and see if I can get the Redskins a win where Joe Gibbs and Joe Theismann failed to do it in real life the first time. So let's get on with it. Uh, let's see, we will launch the game, and we will be kicking off, apparently, and I'm assuming that that means we'll get the ball in the second half, but we are kicking off to the Raiders. As I recall, Marcus Allen had a really great game that game. Uh, let's see, I'm going to start out with balanced... And, uh, yeah, we stop them quickly. Nice. Um, also, I want to mention that uh, I'm playing this game also because um, Stratomatic has an offer out where you can get six teams from the 1983 season. You can actually order and get six, um, six teams in the cards of uh, t six teams that played in 1983, and that's the... Uh, 49ers, the Raiders, the Redskins, the Cowboys, um, the Dolphins, and the Seahawks. So, if you're interested in that, um, hey, you know, knock yourself out. Um, I am going to put in the pass, although he does have Plunkett, and, you know, Plunkett was... I mean, that was the second Super Bowl, I think, that Plunkett won because he won the 1980 Super Bowl or the Super Bowl coming off the 1980 season when he beat the uh, Eagles. So, yeah, we're going to put in the pass. Um, and we don't stop him. We had the pass in and everything, and we didn't stop him. All right, so now we're going to put in the run because, you know, he's got Marcus Allen. No, he's going to pass. And he's going to hit Branch for a lot of yards. This is going to, yeah, this is going to be tough. And now he hands off to Frank Hawkins, who gets some sizable yards. I don't even know what I put in there for a defense. It would happen so quickly, but um, it's going to be incomplete. Let's put in, I'm going to put in the run. And he does run with Marcus Allen, and they fumble, and Branch picks up the fumble and runs for a touchdown. Where are you going to see that? I mean, that might have happened in the actual Super Bowl. I don't even know, but. So they kick the field goal. They are the recipients of some good luck. As Allen fumbles the ball, but Cliff Branch picks it up and runs for a touchdown with it. So the uh, L.A. Raiders are out in front at 11.37 of the first uh, quarter by the score of 7-0. I'm going to come right out with a long. I'm going to go long to Brown. And we have to do an outlet pass, but it works to Riggins. Let's go line buck with Riggins. Okay, Riggins not so much on the line buck there. We got a third and one. I'm going to go line buck, but I'm going to go line buck with Theismann. And he does get the first down. Only the first down, but he gets it. So we got a first and ten at our own 30. I'm going to do a flat pass to the tight end Warren. And that is, there's a penalty and I'm going to accept the penalty. So we're going to do a draw play to the halfback Washington on Washington. And there is another flag. 
and that's going to be on us. So let's do a look in pass to the split end, Brown, on first and 25. That gets some yards. Let's do a short to the split end, Brown. Oh, he's going to be sacked. All right. Um, I'm going to do a long pass to Didier. Clint Didier. Who doesn't remember Clint Didier? And that's going to be an incomplete pass or an interception, which is what it is. <laughs> there was an interesting story, too. Um where there was, if you recall, the Raiders actually picked off a Theismann pass right down near the goal line when Washington could have scored. And um, when Gibbs called the play, um, Theismann actually asked him to relay in the, the play again because he couldn't believe the play that they, that they called. And Gibbs signaled in the same play. Like, it was basically like a, a, a flat pass out to the side. You know, something like that. I don't know what you really call it in football terms. But um, they, uh, but he, he signaled in the same call. So, um, so Theismann called a timeout, and he went over to the sidelines. And he said, uh, why are you calling this play? This was the same play. And also, I think the Redskins played the... Raiders earlier that season and he said to he said to Gibbs why are you calling this because this is the same play that we called in the game against them during the year and they uh, and they're going to know it's coming and uh, and Gibbs said run it anyway so Theismann went back out and uh said all right you know he told everybody in the huddle yeah this is the play we're running and um, and he did, and obviously the the uh, Raiders picked it off, and I think maybe returned it for a touchdown. But leave it in the comments below if it wasn't a touchdown. But they did. I know they intercepted him. And Theismann went back to the sidelines and looked at Gibbs and said, "I told you." And then Gibbs said, "All right, you were right, but that was a bad pass." So uh, let's see, five fifty-two left in the first quarter gotta go I'm gonna go short to the tight end it's only seven nothing and he's on his own and running and he gets sacked so we got to do a short medium pass to yeah I'm gonna go to Garrett I can't believe that the Redskins can't get anything going nice first down Redskins Let's go flat pass to the split end. I mean, we can't get anything going against this defense. And we just missed the first down. But I'm going to go line buck with, uh, with Wansley. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And he gets the first down and a lot more. So we got a first and 10 at the Washington 43. I'm going to go... Flat to the flanker, Monk. Art Monk. Can't, can't forget Art Monk. And it is good. And he is two yards from the first down. Let's go. Let's go line buck with Wansley again. Yeah, they're not. They are not looking for Wansley to be running this ball. That's for sure. First and 10. Uh, I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback. And he gets some yards. They they are definitely thinking we're passing. We got a second and four at the LA 38. I'm going to go off tackle with Washington. Oh, he's going to get trapped in the backfield. Third and six. Let's go flat. Let's still make it real high percentage flat to Warren. And that's incomplete. Man, you can't complete a flat pass, really? Ah. 
I mean, we really should pass. Or, I mean, punt. But yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna punt. And they're gonna take it on the 20. And I'm gonna look run, because they got Marcus Allen and Greg Pruitt. But they pass to Todd Christensen. All right, I'm gonna look pass again. And they do pass, and it's incomplete. Now I'm gonna look pass again. There is a penalty on the play, but they're letting him play, so it's probably on us. And it is. So they get a first and 10 at our 42. I am going to look for the pass. They run, and we get them just before the first down, which is not really good because they're going to get the first down. And that's incomplete. So they got a third and one. I'm going to go run. I mean, you can pass if you want. And we did get the, we did put in the run, and they did run, and they still got it. Well, we got a pass defense in, and Plunkett is passing. And he is passing for a nice chunk of yards that puts them in the scoring position easy. Um, I'm going to look for the run. This game might actually be worse in the score than the uh, actual game was. Because I can't do anything with Washington against these guys. And that's a, that's a touchdown to Pat to uh, Todd Christensen, the tight end. But in the kick defense. And it's up and good, and it is 14-0 Raiders. Raiders. And they're kicking off to us. 11.58 left in the half. Mike Nelms with a nice return. So I'm going to go short to the flanker. I mean, we can't get anything going. Nothing. Art Monk, yes, nice reception there by Art Monk. I'm going to go end run with the halfback. And he got caught in the backfield. Let's go look in pass to the split end. And Charlie Brown catches it, but um, not for many yards. So we got a third and ten. We've got to go short. Short to Monk. And he's sacked in the backfield. All right. Um, yeah, we got a punt. Greg Pruitt with a nice return. I'm going to put in a run. The run. No, he's passing. He's passing. And he's passing big time to Cliff Branch for a lot of yards. Yeah, th I think we're setting ourselves up for another embarrassment. And we do finally get him, but he's nearly down. He's definitely in the red zone, but he was in the red zone. And he is definitely ready to score. And we're going to sack Plunkett, so that's the first good thing I've seen us do on defense. Other than stop them the one time we did stop them. And he's it's incomplete. So it's the third and goal. we got to definitely put in the pass defense. And we may actually stop them and force them to kick a field goal here. Or, or not. Or they might actually pass it into the end zone to Christensen for a touchdown. So, Chris Barr makes it at 21 nothing.
And what was the score? The real score was 38 to 9. 38 to 9 is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge to hold them down to less than 38. And it's going to be a challenge to get 9. And then we got this guy doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And he gets it out to the 21, I guess. That's, you know. Um, I suppose we better go long. We better start doing something that's like not, um, you know, nickel and diming it down the field because we can't do that anymore. And that's going to be Charlie Brown for a lot of yards. Okay. So let's do a draw play to Riggins. And Riggins gets some yards. He gets, I thought he was going to get more there, just two. So we got a second and eight at the LA 42. Let's go look in pass to the split end. And Charlie Brown again. And now we're going to go line buck with Riggins. And Riggins gets that and a little more. So we got a first and 10 at the LA 30. Let's go off tackle with Washington. And he gets trapped in the backfield. So we got a second and 10 at the LA 30. I'm gonna try a long to Brown. It worked once. No, it's not gonna work now, we got sacked. So now we're really, now we have to go long again. We gotta go long and we're gonna go long to uh, Clint Didier. No, Art Monk, let's go long to Art Monk. And now it's Theisman alone and on his own and he gets sacked and we have a fourth and 20 at the LA 40 and we're not gonna make a field goal from there. So yeah, let's go punt and let's go coffin corner punt. 354 left in the half. Not the greatest coffin corner punt you'd ever wanna see either. But they have a first and 10, LA has a first and 10 at their own eight, but they're winning 21, nothing, so. And we do stop Marcus Allen in the backfield. Not a, not a common occurrence. And then we're going to go linebacker blitz and see what that gets us. And it's going to get us a sack of plunk, plunk it, plunker. So now they got a third and 17 at their own one. And I am going to go, let's go linebacker blitz again. See what, we can, if we can get him in the end zone. We might be able to get a touchdown. No, we didn't get it. Did we get it back? No. Oh, wait, did we? We got it. Yeah, we got it back. Um, yeah, we recovered it in the end zone. So nice. So Plunkett fumbles at the goal line and we jump on it and we have a touchdown. That makes it 21-7. So now the nine portion of our end of the deal may not be that hard to get. Another field goal and we'll exceed that. But with kickoff returns and him playing like this, I don't know. I think, um, I still think we're in trouble, but it is at least 21-7 now. Got him in the backfield, we got a second, they have a second and 10 at their own 33. I'm going to put in the pass, and they run it, and uh, Marcus Allen gets a lot of yards. If they run it with Marcus Allen and you're not looking for it, you're not looking for it. Let's hope that that, that probably is on them. So I'm going to put in the pass, first and 15 for them. And, you know, we can put in the pass all we want, but Todd Christensen is a fire in our face. I'm going to put in the pass and double team Christensen. How about that? And, uh, yeah, they pass to him and it's incomplete. 
So second and 10, I'm going to put in the pass, and I'm going to double team uh, Christensen. <laughs> Let's see who we got to double team. Christensen. No, they flip it out to Allen, but he's doing that stupid run for the sidelines to uh, – um, and then they run it again, and we stop him short. But now he's going to kick a field goal. Kick block. We got to try to stop it. But Chris Barr is not going to miss it, I would not think. And he doesn't. So 37 seconds left, and it's 24 to 7. L.A. I'm going to take it. Yeah. All right. Well, they knew I wanted to take it on the 20. Uh, let's I mean, you know, what are you going to do? You got to go long, long to Brown. And Theismann out on his own, runs right past that guy and then gets nine yards. And now we're going to go long to Monk. It's not going to be good. It doesn't matter. There's a penalty on the play, though, which means the half can't end. Oh, I guess it can. Maybe it was the penalty was on us. I don't know. So anyway, this is the opening kickoff of the second half. And we will have it first and 10, 24. I'm gonna go end run with the halfback. We're down 24, seven, not good. They're not looking for it though, not at all. And Washington gets a ton of yards. Let's go draw play with Riggins. Yeah, they're still not looking for it. Man, two runs and we got, we're all the way down to their, um, 32 yard line. So we got a first and 10 at the 32. Let's go line buck with Washington. Yeah, they're just looking pass all the way. I mean, now I don't know if there's enough time, even if they don't look for the run at all. I don't know if there's enough time to come back. But I guess we're going to find out because if they're looking for the pass, Theismann is not going to be effective. All right, now that time they got him in the backfield. Second and 11, uh, let's go off tackle with Riggins. And they, again, they don't really stop him quickly. We have a third and six. Let's go short to Garrett. Ah, uh, he's gonna get sacked. Well, now you gotta kick, you gotta kick the field goal. With Mark Mosley, and he does make it, he splits the uprights, but it is 24-10. I'm going to look for the run because that's really what he should be doing. He should be trying to kill the clock now. And Marcus Allen, we get him after a pickup of just two. I'm going to look for the run again. This time he passes to Marcus Allen. And now they've got a third down. I'm going to uh, look for a uh, pass and double team Christensen. And they pass it to Allen. Out of the backfield, the swing pass out of the backfield. All right, let's look for the pass. And we were looking for the pass, and Cliff Branch still got a lot of, man, this team had some serious weapons. I'm talking weaponry. Oh, man. Let's go linebacker blitz again. That worked a couple times for us. 
there is a flag, so it's maybe on us. And they get a first down. Yeah, it's on us. So we're going to look for the pass. They run. Frank Hawkins, is that his name? Frank Hawkins? Fred Hawkins, I don't know what his name is. But whatever his name is, he just scored. And they're going to score again. And so now they have a 31 to 10 lead. 31-10 with 7.09 left in the third quarter. So if they get another touchdown, they got their 38, which is what they got in real life. We've already exceeded, I've already exceeded for, for Washington what they actually got, but that was with the help of a Jim Plunkett fumble at his own goal line that we jumped on for a touchdown. Without that, we really only have three. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go flat past Rigo. Let's see what happens there. And it is Riggins, and he gets a nice chunky yards. So let's go line buck with Rigo. See, they won't look for the the run. I mean, rightly so. But I don't. Again, I don't know if we have enough time to come back in the game like in real life you probably have enough time but in this in the stratomatic game engine you probably don't let's go draw play with the halfback on third and five and he gets the first down so we got a first and 10 at the washington 46 i'm going to go flat to the split end Flat pass, and it's good for some yards, too. Nice. We're into L.A. territory, second and four at the L.A. 48. Let's go line buck with Theismann. What happens when you do that? Oh, they catch him quickly. Third and four. Let's go off tackle with Riggins. They are not looking for the, pa the run here. And Riggins gets to within one yard. And we are going to guess. Yeah, the computer knows. We're going to go line buck with Theismann. They got him. I can't believe they got him in the backfield. All right. I'm going to put in the pass. We seem to have stopped him pretty quickly. One minute 57 left in the third quarter. They have a second and 10. We're going to go. We're going to put in the pass. They are passing, and we stop it quickly. They go to Ken King, and we are going to put in the pass. Third and 12. And we don't stop Cliff Branch. You just, you can't, you can't stop Cliff Branch. You can only hope to contain him. There is a penalty on the play. Let's see if it's on them. It is not. It's on us. So they got a first and 10 at our 28 with 41 seconds left. I'm going to put in the pass and double team Christensen. And they run it with Ken King. Second and eight, Washington 26. I think I, gra is, is that Ken King? Because I graduated with a guy named Ken King. All right, we got a fullback. We're going to run and key on. Now we're going to run and. Oh, I already picked him. All right, well. It doesn't matter. He passes anyway. And he passes to Christensen, who, again, we can't stop because they have too many weapons. It's kind of like the United States versus Uzbekistan in a war. All right, yeah, Frank Hawkins. I mean, they got yeah, they just send out anybody they want. They just kind of eeny, meeny, miny, mo, go on out there and take a run. There is a penalty. Let's see if it's, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll accept it. So they got a second and 21 at the Washington 25. I'm going to go, I'm going to put in the pass. They are passing, and they do pass. And it's to Christensen, of course. And he was even double teamed, even though I didn't say that. It looked like he was double teamed. 
We still couldn't stop him. It's like that goalie on those commercials. I couldn't stop him. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go. Let's go all out blitz. I mean, you know, I, I got to try something here. Yeah, we got him. We got Plunkett. He tried to run it. Fourth and 11 at the 15. They will kick a field goal. Kick defense. I mean, at this point, I'm considering it a victory if I can hold him to less than what he actually scored. But now he's only four points away from that. So he needs a touchdown to get what he actually scored. And I've already, on my end, I've already scored more than Washington actually scored. All right, 12.53 left in the game. I'm going to go short to uh, Charlie Brown. Yeah, baby. First down. Now I'm going to go off tackle with Riggins because he's not, he can't be looking for the pass. And Riggins does get some yards. Remember, at this point, I can't win the game anyway, really. So I'm just trying to make the score better than it actually was. You got Washington line buck, and he gets the first down and a lot more, baby. Okay, so first and 10. We have a first and 10 at the LA 44. I'm going to go flat pass to Warren. And I think it was complete, right? Yeah, it was. Second and five. So we got a line buck with Riggins. And Riggins is going to get the first down a little more, people. I think I got another score lined up here. At least a field goal. Let's go short to the split end. No, to the flanker, Monk. And it would be great if you didn't get sacked here, Flat Theisman. All right, looks like it's yes, complete, and maybe even for a touchdown, and it is touchdown Washington. So I have seriously exceeded our expectations on our end. We will kick the extra point. All about the points now. You just want to, you know, make the deficit or make it look better than it really was. So now it's 34-17. I didn't do the onside's kick because the odds of getting the onside's kick are slim to nothing. And it would just give him less field to work with. So uh, we're going to go run. And it's incomplete. Incomplete to Christensen. Who knew that was coming? Second and 10. I'm going to go um, pass. Will pass and double team Christensen. And it's incomplete. So now I'm going to go pass and double team branch. And it was to Christensen, but they didn't get the first down because a guy was right on him. So we're going to do the punt return. We did stop him. 34-17 with 8.37 left in the game. And I am going to try to run the ball. And that was a bad idea. He only got a yard, maybe. So let's do an end run with Washington. And he's going to get some yards. Uh, let's do a look-in pass to the tight end, Walker. It's incomplete. Third and six. Let's do a flat pass to Garrett. And he gets the first down barely. First and 10 at the Washington 33. Off tackle with Washington. And there is a flag on the play. Let's see who that's on. Probably on them, but I may actually not 
accept this. No, I'm going to decline it. So let's go off tackle with the halfback. And he gets some yards again. Uh, let's go line buck with Riggins. Second and six at the LA 32. And he got some blocking up the middle and uh, got a few yards. We got a third and three. Huh, tough call here. Third and three. Let's go flat to Monk. There is a penalty on the play. That's incomplete, but no. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's go short pass to the split end. Incomplete. <clears throat> Fourth and three at the 29. Well, it's about the points, boys and girls, so we're going to take the field goal. And he misses it. Wide left. I'm going to look for the run. Oh, he's got... Uh, He's got Mark Wilson in at quarterback. That's how bad it got. Of course, I don't know. Maybe in the real game, they actually brought Mark Wilson in to be the quarterback. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. So we, uh, yeah, he's got a whole bunch of new guys out there. Nice, fresh team. Uh, double team. Hasselbeck. Man, they had Don Hasselbeck. Yeah, they pass to Kelvin Muhammad, and he gets first down. So they got a first and 10, 258 left. I guess I'm going to put in the pass. Now, if you got the pass in, oh, man. And then they run with Greg Pruitt. Greg, right! I can jump on it. Yeah, I'm going to fall on the ball. Nice. Greg Pruitt fumbles the ball. I mean, look at those weapons. Weapons! All right. Um... <clears throat> Let's go short to Garrett. See if that can get us anything. It gets us nothing. It gets us exactly nothing. Let's go short to Monk. Monk is out of bounds, so that's going to be a third and ten. Let's go short to Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Charlie Brown. Monk catches it over the middle and makes a beeline for the uh, out of bounds for some reason. And doesn't make it, by the way. Fourth and five. So we are going to punt the ball because that is what we're going to do. I'm going to put in the punt. And we are not, we're just trying to keep him from getting the 38 points that he really got in real life because we can't win the game. And they're not even going to play the ball, so good. A minute 52 left, I'm going to put in the pass. We're going to do everything we can to stop him from scoring. Except catch Greg Pruitt before he gets a lot of yards. And they run the ball again. Twenty-two seconds left. I'm going to put in the run. I guess they're going to run. And that was a uh, that was on them. So first and fifteen at their forty-nine. And we sack Mark Wilson. Nice. So second and sixteen. And that's it. The game is over. And so let's take a look at the box score. Because I know everybody wants to see the box score. So the final score this time around is 34-17 instead of 38-9. A quarterback comparison shows that Theismann was only 17-24 for 169 yards, one touchdown, and an interception. 
and that Plunkett was 19 of 28 for 270 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and even Mark Wilson was 3 for 3 for 31 yards. We had Joe Washington with 13 rushes for 30 or for 98 yards. John Riggins 10 rushes for 59 yards. Theismann had four rushes for 10. And Otis Wansley had two rushes for 13 yards. <clears throat> you gotta love that. Marcus Allen had 10 rushes for just 43 yards, probably a lot worse than what he did in a real life game. Frank Hawkins had five rushes for 21 yards. Greg Pruitt had five for 46. And uh, Kenny L. King, that's right, Ken King, the guy I went to high school with. All right, no, it's not the same guy. When <laughs> two rushes for two yards. Charlie Brown, seven receptions for 77 yards. He was our main man. Todd Christensen, though, nine receptions for 120. And Cliff Branch, four for 102. That's crazy. There's some crazy stats there. So, yeah, I mean, we got smoked again, but it was better this time around. And uh, I want to remind everybody, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Send it to somebody you think might be interested. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment below. I left a couple of um, uh, situations or things that happened during the game that would have been perfect for comments. So, you know, even if you want to go back and watch it again, hey, I am all in favor of that. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.